What is going on everyone? Before we get into today's video, I want to give a big shout out to A1 Comics for A1 Wednesday. Don't forget to follow them on Instagram. Their link is in the description below. They have live sales every Wednesday and Friday on the IG. Don't forget to check them out on Twitch every Thursday as well. And of course, they are on the WhatNot app. What is going on YouTube? Chris with Journals, Comics and Pop Culture. Today, I am showing off a couple of books that I was commissioned to do by Don Comic Book Junkie. Now, by the time that you guys are seeing this, these books are already in Don's hands, and I'm sure he's came on his channel and showed them off, um, and obviously, I wanted the moment to be his, but I hope Don doesn't mind me still taking some time to show them off on my channel because um, I'm just, I'm really happy with how they came out and I really appreciate Don, uh, you know, allowing me to um, do these commissions for him. Um, so what you see right here is uh, the first out of the two. It is a Wolverine, uh, number one blank variant. As you can see, I drew Wolverine uh, in his classic blue and yellow costume. Um, and he's in action there. He's got blood coming from his claws and he's going at it, right? But that's not it. I do have a second book. And the second book is Sabretooth. Blood on his claws. Going at it. Oh, and by the way, I did use, I use color pencils. So what I do with these, actually, well, let, before I go into what I do with them, let me just show you guys. Don wanted me to do connecting covers, and I, I approach this in two ways. One, I approach it in a way to where you would have, you want one of Sabretooth and one of Wolverine going at it. And I said, well, I could approach this in a, in a safer way, I think, with like having them fully on each cover, but then still having them connect. But I thought, why not just really dive into the action of it, even though, like in this piece right here, you don't see necessarily all of Sabretooth. Uh, he's not necessarily specifically centered on the cover, but when you put them all together, the action is, is just happening. It is popping off the pages. So there it is. I uh, I just thought that, you know, getting them right up next to each other, having them going at it, blood on the claws, really battling, um, w would be pretty awesome. So, um, color pencil, I start off with just a regular pencil, um, and I do the outline and some shading with pencil alone. Now, when it comes to pencil, I use all different kind of pencils from, uh, you know, softer pencils to sharper pencils. Uh, to give the lighter or darker feels and so forth. And then from there, I add uh, the color pencil on top of it. Now, what that does is when I do the shading, I mean, you can shade alone with color pencil to where you can put more pressure and deeper strokes to get, say, if you're using blue to get a darker blue and lighter, lesser strokes to get that lighter blue to say, you know, it looks like there's some white coming in to where it's like light reflecting. But when, you, when I do the pencil first and then I add the color pencil, it really blends in the shadowing. Um, so that's a key piece of what I do when I do color pencil. Um, and I just, you know, I kept the background simple. Um, it, even though it's simple, it takes a long time. All that black, it's very time consuming, <laughs> uh, you know, just to, to color black on, especially on this one almost the whole the whole background and then you get some kind of you know action feel and movement feel as if the you know they're moving and popping off the uh, the pages so again i just wanted to show these off i think don this is the um you know i i i, I did a piece for don just as an act of kindness a, a couple years back or a few years back uh then a few months ago don commissioned me to do a wolverine piece uh, just a classic Wolverine piece, and I did that, and, um, you know, this, though, I think I took it to another level, Don is really, with these commission pieces, he has really uh, kind of allowed me to get outside of my box, because for a lot of you who, especially if you follow my Instagram, because I post, like, all my commission work and all my work on Instagram, I'm a re I, I do realism, you know, I usually, it's usually people or pets, and I look at a picture or look at a live subject, 
usually pictures obviously and I look at it and I copy what I see and it's realism I'm not much of a cartoonist I don't do too much cartoony stuff and you know uh, that's a little more of what this is although there's obviously still more realism here in terms of the shading and whatnot but uh, he's been taking me out of my comfort zone uh, and I appreciate it because it's 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 fun I worked on these it took me it took me three days or three nights to do these but I will say each night I did three nights in a row and I worked and so I did I didn't stop drawing until at least 4 a.m. each three nights so I probably worked on them I don't know probably from around 10 p.m. until 4 a.m. at least like three nights in a row maybe even more um, but you know when that happens it's because I just I'm enjoying it there's some pieces that I get that I'm like uh I don't want to work on this you know it's not fun but it's a commission piece I'm getting paid to do it so uh, that's not often, you know, but, uh, with these, I thoroughly enjoy doing these, Don. I hope that you appreciated them. Um, I hope they're what you wanted and expected, and I'm happy to just add another piece to, to your collection. So, all right, guys, with that being said, hey, if you guys are interested in commission pieces, whether it be, uh, uh, co blank comic book covers or just a, 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 a piece, you know, a nine, eight by ten, nine by twelve, eleven by fourteen picture. Uh, you know, let me know. Reach out to me. Um, send me an email at captainjournalcomics at gmail .com. Find me on Instagram at journals underscore comics. And I'm also on uh, YouTube now. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> I'm also on Facebook now at journals comics. So, thank you guys for watching. Go check out Don Combo Book Junkie if you haven't subscribed to him yet, guys. You guys are years late. Uh, but uh, go check out his videos, check out his custom pieces. He's had a lot of amazing artists uh, besides myself be doing a lot of custom pieces for him lately. So go check those out, and uh, thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so, and until next time.